Good morning Caborta Church, happy Sabbath and welcome to today's online service. It's so nice of you to join us and I'd like you to give a warm welcome to Pastor Joe as he opens God's word to us. We're coming towards the end of winter time and spring is in the air. You can just smell the freshness and all the flowers and see the bees buzzing around. I'm sure your gardens are starting to produce lots of colour. New life new season, new beginnings, and let's continue our journey with God. I just want to encourage you as well, it's been a while since we've been able to meet together, and I was just looking at some encouraging verses that I needed to hear, and I thought I'd share them with you. First of all, let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 12 to 14. This encourages me so much. We've been at home a lot, for those of us that are not working out in the community and it tells us God is faithful and he will not let you be tested beyond your strength but with the testing he will also provide the way out so that you may be able to endure it so whatever your circumstances are whether you're not well whether you're recovering from surgery illness having treatment just being plain alone, family interstate, we can't catch up with them, not able to meet with friends physically. The online presence is what we can do, but it's the human touch that we miss. So the good news is, no matter how dire my circumstances may seem, or yours, we can have confidence that God will never test us beyond our abilities to survive and move on with our lives. Isn't that a great promise? That was 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 12 and 14. But it doesn't stop there. I really love the Psalms. A friend of mine, Cheryl, my prayer warrior in our prayer team, was telling me that the Psalms, and I revisited that, are so encouraging as well. Let's look at Psalm 100, particularly verses 4 and 5. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name, for the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Isn't that great news? No matter what our circumstances are, we can give praise. We have a roof over our head. We have a country that cares about us, provides income. We have stores that we can uh, buy our groceries at. We've got good weather to grow veggies in our gardens. We've got friends who care, community who cares. And we care about you and we know that you care for each other. Let's ponder our lives and give thanks for the blessings of God that surround us because the Lord loves a grateful heart and I know I'm grateful for you to join us online today. May you gain a blessing from worshipping with us today. God bless Caborcha Church. Thank you.